Welcome back to our series on introductory statistics. I'm Mark Ledbetter, and this is part C, or part three, of video number 21. So we're in section 7.2, and we're doing a third part. We're talking about the normal distribution, standard normal. Oh, actually, we're talking about problems using the, the uh, normal distribution. So last time, we finished up on how to do the three types of problems that uh, we're given a z-score and asked for a probability. Want a probability, but given or provided a z-score. So today, we're going to look at, or in this video, I should say, we're going to look at how to find a z-score when we're given an area, proportion, percentage, or probability. So this is an inverse type of problem. And there's three types of these. We're not going to do all three in this one, but we're going to do two of them. So um, the two easiest, of course. So we're going to look at how to do this in reverse. So for example, three here, we are, we're asking for um, the oh, we're doing example four, sorry, we did example three last time, didn't we? So now we're how to find a z-score um, when we're using area, okay? Oops, sorry about that. So, if the probability that a randomly selected individual, again, this is one, from a standard normal distribution or population is less than, so in this one, we're looking less than some value A. So we're saying that this, if the probability, so this is the probability here. So if the probability that a randomly selected individual from a standard normal distribution is less than some value A, if that probability is 0 0.6700, these are always awkward to, to, to write, um, what is the value of A? So what is A here? So we've, we need to draw our picture, and again, remember to put your Z over here. Remember, zero's in the middle. And now, I want to talk about how we know where A is going to be. This will save you some time if you can figure this out. So if you have zero here, and we're saying that the probability to the left below this is 0 0.6700. Well, I want to remind you that the probability here in this half is 0 0.500. So if I need more than 0 0.500 below A, A can't be a negative number. Because if it is, if A is down here, I'm going to, so if A is down in the bottom, didn't mean to erase that, but we'll do it anyway. If we have, I'm going to call it B, if B is down here, then this has to be less than 0.5. It can't be greater than because uh, the 0.5 is looking to the left is here. So this whole thing is 0.5. So I'm wanting 0.67. That means that I have to be somewhere over here to the right. A has to be here. So this area here will be 0.5. And then this area here will be 0.17. And together they add up to 0.67. So that's why I've drawn this picture up here the way I have, with A as a positive number. So please make sure you understand that. That will really help you when you're drawing these uh, pictures and get them right. So, uh, because again, remember that I'm requiring you to draw the pictures to get credit for the work, because uh, this will help you think through the problem and make it less likely that you're going to mess up, okay? So please make the effort. You don't have to look as pretty as mine. Uh, just try to make them look somewhat like they're supposed to be. <laughs> All right, so that they're helpful to you. Okay, so we're told, so we're told that the probability that z is less than a is equal to 0 0.67. I need the value of a. I'm going to go to my table, but now I've been given a probability, and that's inside the table. 
And I'm, since it's greater than 0.5, I'm going to look on the positive side of the table. And you'll see that all the probabilities over here are 0.5 or greater. And I need 0.67. So I found, oh, here it is. I found, let me not knock out, let me not mark through the period there. So I need to find what the z-score is from that. So the first decimal place, 0 0.4, here. And the last decimal place, the second decimal place, goes there. So this corresponds to a z of, it's not equal to z. It, it goes with, so I want to make sure that it goes with z equals 1.44. That, that's the value of z that goes with this probability or area. So 1.44, and um, that is my answer, 1.44. Okay, so we were given a probability, we're doing a reverse, we're going to ask for the z-score, uh, we're calling this value A, the value that we're looking for is 1.44. And let me make, oh, I'm sorry, it's not 1.44, was it? It was 0.44, 0 0.44. I'm really sorry to, uh, to make that mistake. Luckily, I caught it before we went further. So it's 0 0.44. That is the answer. So this is 0 0.44. Okay? Now, what if I'm given the probability greater than some value. And here I've done it differently. I've given you percentage. So if the if 75.17% of a standard normal population is greater than B, what is the value of B? So they have values that are greater than B. So now this again is this is going to be confusing to you maybe the first time, so please uh, try to follow what I'm talking about. So I'm going to start with looking at the probability around zero, on each side of zero. Remember that there's 0 0.5 over here, and there's 0 0.5 over here, area. And label Z, so we know what we're talking about. Now, I'm talking about, I need this to be greater. I need 0 0.7517 above B. If I put B here, then um, this area is less than 0.5. So if, I, if z is 0, then the area to the right of this um, is going to be 0.5. So this is uh, probability, I should say, probability is less than 0.5, okay? I need the probability to the right of this number B to be greater than 0.5. So I need to put B, so B is not here. I need to put B so that somewhere over here, so that I have, there's 0.5 here, and then I need the extra 0.2517. So when I add these together, I get 0 0.7517. And so I need to f say that this whole area here is, we add these together, and is that. So I'm, say, I'm looking now back up at my picture here, and I need to find B. But I can't, if I look in uh, the table and find 0 0.7517, I'm not going to find B. I'm going to find the negative of that, which will end up being a positive number because B is negative. So I don't want to confuse you, but I'm not going to find that. I'd find a value over here, which I don't want. Okay, So I need to figure out, because the only thing in my table is the area over here in this part. That is the table entry. And that is the probability that Z is less than B. And I'm going to look uh, so in order to do that, I need to know the difference, what's left over in the probability distribution. And what's left over is going to be, I'm going to erase this, is going to be 1 minus 0.7517. That's what's going to be here, 
which is what I can look up, and that value is going to be 0.2483. So that's the value I look up inside the table, okay, because it's a probability. You'll notice that I'm writing these probabilities to four decimal places every time. That's to keep me realizing that that's a probability, not a z-score. Z-scores go down here. They do not go up here. Up here are probabilities. So if you keep that separate, it will confuse you a lot less. So I do know there's some videos out there where people are really sloppy, and so I don't recommend those to you. Um, because it's easy, when you're first learning this, it's easy to get confused. Okay, so I need to look up 0.2483 in the Z table. And so it's going to be on the negative side, as I've already told myself. Um, now I've forgotten the number. So let me look, 0 0.2483, 0 0.2483, 2444444. Okay, so... I got 483 right here. Okay. And that's under 8, so the second decimal place is going to be that. So this is negative 0.68. So B is negative 0.68. So B equals negative. 0 0.68 and that is our answer okay so I want you to please look at this again work this out for yourself make sure you understand uh, why we're looking up this number and that we subtracted the number we were given from 1 and drawing these pictures can really help you all right so that's it for this lesson so, all right so that's it for uh, today's lecture. Please remember to scan your lecture notes before midnight on the date listed in the course calendar. If you cannot, if you have questions, please come to my virtual office hours. If you can't do that, then um, if you need, if you have that question, then email me. Send me two pictures. One of the problem, and two of your work. So far. Okay, that way I can help you uh, much quicker. All right, so I hope you take care, and we will see you next time.